Hey beautiful souls, welcome to the Lionheart Leo channel where we talk all things spiritual. I am a shamanic practitioner of almost 11 years and I've been reading the Akashic Call of Records or also known as a past life healer for 10 years. So I'm so excited to talk to you today. Make sure you hit that bell and that subscribe if you're into spiritual content and you want to be part of our Lionheart family. I post new spiritual content almost every week so I would love it if you subscribed, hit the like, hit the comment, and let me know how you're doing tonight. So today we're going to be talking about empowerment, and this is probably the most important spiritual concept that you will ever come across, because so many of us end up being codependent on other people. And it's okay, it's normal. Um, I've had plenty of codependent streaks in my life or putting my power outside of myself in life. Oh, that teacher is so great. Oh, that person's so much smarter than me. Oh, that person's so pretty and I'm not pretty enough, so like they deserve more than me. All of these things disempower us. And it's very easy in this society <laughs> that we all live in um, to feel disempowered. You know, there's structures that don't always work with us. We live in a world of contrast. We live in the matrix, which um, a lot of the time likes to convince us we're not as deserving as we actually are. So how do we step into our power so that we can be the spiritual light beings <laughs> that we truly are? Such a great question. So. I just want to start out by saying your inner self is of love and light. Source is love and light. So you're connected interdimensionally to the being that created us. And when you think about it, if the universe is everything that ever was and will be, or God or source or the creator, whatever you want to call it, whatever resonates, you cannot have anything outside of it. You can't, period, end of story. There's nothing outside of everything that ever was and ever will be. So there's this illusion of separatism. There's this illusion that I am separate from you and you are separate from me and all these things are separate and hey, that guy pissed me off. So like you're separate and I hate you and I'm judging you, right? There's this illusion. This is the contrast I'm talking about. I get to know who I am as a light being by watching things and beings and experiences that don't make me feel like love and light. And it's through seeing that comparison and contrast that I get to remember, remember who I truly am of love and light. And the same goes for you. So when we put our power outside of ourselves, when we decide, I don't know this, I can't do this, you need to heal me, you need to fulfill me, you need to fix me, all of these things, it is very disempowering. So true power it's not about asserting yourself over other people. It's not about controlling things or manipulating things. True power is about remembering and reawakening to who we truly are. Because before you incarnated here, you knew. You totally knew. And you planned things out before you came here. Um, I've been reading the Akashic Records for so long. I can tell you for sure that um, you've signed some life contracts or created some life contracts where you get to experience what it's like here in the matrix on earth in contrast. But we're here to trigger each other. We're here to wake each other up and we're here to experience existence. Earth is one of the coolest places to come because we have so much density here. We have so much of that contrast. So if this is resonating with you, leave a little comment because I'd love to know. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. But just so that we're all on the same page, I want to let you know it's okay to step into your power. It's okay to shine your light and radiate your love and light out to everyone, out to the world. And that is how we truly empower ourselves is we make decisions from a shining our own unique frequency, shining our own unique signature, following our joy, following our bliss, and not putting our power in other people's hands or other situations' hands. So if we're going to accept this concept that you cannot have anything outside of source, the creator, everything that ever was and ever will be, that means that we are made up of that. And so maybe that is like the ocean and we are like drops of water. So the scale is a little bit different, but the actual chemical or mo molecular makeup is the same. So our energy is the same as source. It's just a slightly different form. It's just, it's just a little bit of a smaller scale. And so if we're going to accept that, it means we get to create our own realities. We get to speak into existence ourselves. So as you go forward, I would like to challenge you to choose your words wisely. Choose your thoughts wisely because every word we speak is either a blessing 
or a curse. So when you say, I'm so worried about this person, you're cursing them on one level. When you say, I love this person, you're blessing them, right? And we can do that to ourselves. If we're beating ourselves up constantly and not accepting the glorious creation that we are and shining our lights as brightly as we can, we are in turn cursing ourselves. We're making things harder. We're creating more resistance. We're making that idea of separation from source so much stronger and wider than it has to be. So true power is loving on ourselves, loving on the world, and showing up in the most loving way possible. Does that mean that we just put a happy face sticker over negative emotions? No. Sometimes being in our power means acknowledging we have ego, acknowledging we might have a past life to work through, acknowledging maybe our ancestors are negatively influencing us, and shifting and clearing and healing that. But me as a healer, I cannot heal for you. You need to make the conscious decision and I can hold space and facilitate or another healer or another psychic. So as you go through life, I would really love it if you just kept this in mind. You are a powerful being. There's nothing outside of you in essence. And so everything that is outside of you is just an illusion. So how are you going to treat those things and people? How are you going to treat yourself? You know, and um, it's not going to be in someone else. It's not going to be in some other circumstance. It's not going to be when you get the corner office. It's not going to be when you have a certain amount of money in your bank account. It's not going to be when you've had your 2.5 kids in your white picket fence house, you know. It's okay to like those things. It's okay to enjoy those things. But true power comes from within. True power comes from shining our light and loving as deeply and as strongly as we can. And so from the deepest part of me to the deepest part of you, I love you. And it's okay to choose power, inner power, inner wisdom, inner knowledge. Let joy be your compass and let love be your guide. And that's the best way to get into spirituality, from my opinion. <laughs> so don't put it in a twin flame. Don't put it in a soulmate. Don't put it in, you know, take an ayahuasca or something. It doesn't have to be outside of you. Everything you need already lies within you. And this is really just a remembering so if what I said spoke to you, if what I said resonates with you, just know this is just me waking you up a little bit, flicking you a little bit with, with the consciousness that you already carry. You already know this. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a like, please make sure you comment, and please make sure you subscribe. And um, just know that I love you and you're doing great and we're all going to be okay in the end. We're all waking up. So I love you. Take care, friends.